Hey, what's up YouTube? It is Matt on behalf of Odds Jam. And today's video will be a preview of the Bucks Rams game. Um, before I get started, I just want to highlight how important it is for everybody to be signed up in all of the sports books offering in their state. Um, so as you can see mine, I have every, I'm in Virginia. I have every sports book that's legal in Virginia. Um, it's incredibly important to sign up for as much as you can. So definitely make sure to check out the links in the uh, description of the video uh, in the state where the sports book is relevant to you. And if you don't have one, because I mean, it's not rocket science, but you know, a product like Odds Jam doesn't work if you're not maximizing the amount of sports books you're signed up for. Because the more sports books, the better chance we have of finding a positive expected value play. Um, so just wanted to mention that it's incredibly important. Um, and now let's get to the game. So we got the Rams versus the Bucks. Um, I mentioned this in a previous video, but I could see a path for all four underdogs winning. Um, and I would say pro the Rams, I think personally, probably have the best chance. Uh, them and the Bengals, I think, are close. Um, and there's a couple reasons for that. For starters, so these two teams played earlier this year. So if you want to look at the Rams' schedule, um, I believe they played in like October or looks like it was the end of September. Um, Rams won that game pretty handily. So I remember they were up. Rams are up 34-17 before the Bucks scored a touchdown late. Um, the game was pretty much out of hand. Uh, it was week three, so obviously a ton has changed. But looking at the stats from this game, I mean, Fournette rushed four times. Ronald Jones rushed five times. Ronald Jones rushed five times. Um, obviously, Brady passed it a ton, 55 attempts, 430 yards. Huge game from Evans. Pretty good game from Godwin. Uh, Bernard had a ton of receptions. Uh, the Rams side, pretty good game from Stafford. Um, it's kind of funny to l look at the stats from this game. Like Deshaun Jackson, of course, not even on the Rams anymore. Three receptions, 120 yards, one touchdown. Obviously, massive game from Cooper Cup. Nine receptions, 96 yards, two touchdowns. Um, but obviously, s since late September, a, a ton of things have changed. Um, number one for the Bucks is they're down two receivers. Um, so obviously, Antonio Brown didn't play in this game. This is when he was out with an ankle injury. Uh, but Chris Godwin is no longer there. Uh, so missing those two receivers is huge for the Bucks. So they need players like Tyler Johnson to step up. They need Scotty Miller to step up. Um, obviously Gronk had a decent game in this game. So obviously they need Gronk to be, you know, typical Gronk. And then on the Rams side, uh, the, the, I mean, they've had a couple notable injuries. So Robert Woods obviously has went down since this game. Deshaun Jackson is no longer with the Rams, but they did uh, sign Odell Beckham, obviously. And Van Jefferson's had a pretty good role with the Rams as well. So, um, But the main difference in the Rams is Matt Stafford. So um, Matt Stafford has obviously really struggled recently. It's not images. I don't know why I did that. I um, meant to go to Matt Stafford stats. Um, so he had a decent game against the Cardinals. He wasn't really asked to do much, but looking at, at Matt Stafford, um, look at that. I mean, he's thrown an intercept. He threw an interception in four straight games uh, before not doing so against Arizona, but he only passed the ball 17 times. Um, obviously he had multiple interceptions in three straight games. So not a great stretch of games for Stafford aside from last week. Um, looking at the money line, I, there's no value. Uh, for the Rams money line, Pinnacle has them at plus 133. Uh, they have the Bucks at minus 148. Uh, there's a little bit of value on the Bucks at minus 145 on DraftKings, but to me that that's a no touch. I'm not confident enough in the Bucks winning to take them at minus 145. So um, let's let's look at the point spread. So it looks like the Bucks are about two and a half three point favorites depending on uh, where you look, and it looks like. You know, there's not a ton of value both ways. So it looks like if you buy a couple points towards the Bucks, they have a little bit of value. Three points at minus one, one point at minus two, four points at two and a half. And then if you buy a couple points towards the Rams, uh, they, have a, they have more value, but not at an odds at odds that I would want to take. So I'm going to end up no touching the spread as well. I don't see anything here that looks great. I mean, the, the biggest difference between the odds jam perfect line and what you're getting is this 12 point difference here, but at minus 140, for the same logic that I didn't want to take the Bucks money line at minus 145, I'm, I don't trust enough in the Rams at plus four at minus 140. Um, if you ask my opinion for this game, I do think the Rams win, but um, I'm not seeing much value based on the Ajkan perfect line 
in line we're getting on sports books. So um, no play there, unfortunately. So now let's look at the total. Um, so it looks like the total right now is at about 47 and a half, 48, 48 and a half, depending where you look. And I see some pretty good value on the over. So um, this is why I wanted to highlight the importance of line shopping. So right now, uh, WinBet has them over 47 and a half at minus 110. So that's going to be one of my plays. Uh, so let me just log in real quick um, while I'm explaining this. I am in Virginia. So WinBet, like I said, has the over 47 and a half at minus 110. Um, other books have uh, the same odds for a full point higher. Um, and then like DraftKings, I mean, they have 48 and a half and 49 at the same. So if you were to bet on DraftKings, you would get the same odds, but at a worse point total by a point and a half. And that doesn't seem like lot, a lot, but if you just stack those on top of each other, it adds up and that's the whole premise of positive EV betting. So I'm going to go ahead and put, um, it's not going to be a quite a mixed slam. No, thanks. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put 75 on that. It's a uh, bigger than a mini slam. Not quite a mixed slam, it's a medium slam. Um, so it looks like that one's locked in. So there's the bet receipt right there. Um, Bucks, Rams, over 47 and a half. Um, and I love that play. I mean, the Rams defense is kind of hit or miss. Um, they looked good last week against the Cardinals. Um, but I don't trust um, Matt Stafford enough to not put the Rams defense in um, you know, in precarious positions. And then Tom Brady's Tom Brady. I know he's missing some weapons. He's still got Evans. He's still got Gronk, uh, Colin Johnson, or Tyler Tyler Johnson. Um, I always forget the name. Uh, for the Bucks receiver, second-year player, I think has some potential. He's definitely a player that I want to look at. Um, so, I, you know, I can always trust on the Bucks to score points. Um, one of the, um, I think, might be one of the bigger issues for the Bucks in this game is pass protection. Uh, they had two offensive linemen get hurt last week, Tristan Wirfs and um, Ryan Jensen. It looks like uh, they're both kind of practicing on a limited basis. We'll see if they're going to play. If they are, they might be a little bit hobbled. Um, but So I could see that obviously being in favor of the Rams, but not enough where I think the game is going to go under the total. So the over 47.5, odds jam perfect line has it at minus 121. I bet it, as you saw, at minus 110 on win bet. I think that's a great bet. So before I get into uh, looking at the positive EV plays, there are a couple of player props I wanted to look at first. Um, notably, Matt Stafford interceptions. Um, so a as I mentioned before, he's had a terrible... Aside from last week, really only threw the ball 17 times against just the imploding Cardinals team. He had thrown interception in four straight games, multiple interceptions in three straight games. He's had three separate occasions this year where he's thrown an interception in three straight games um not good so uh and it does look like there is some value on the matt stafford over 0.5 interceptions so the odds jam perfect line has it at minus 136 looks like FanDuel has it at minus 128 um that is going to be a mcslam for me um i love that bet i think that's a great bet um not really need to describe that one any longer so another couple three more I wanted to look at. Um, I don't see. There's one I wanted to look at was just Matt Stafford passing attempts. Um, I could see this being a game where they just pass the ball a ton. Uh, it's tough to run the ball on Tampa Bay, and Matt and I could just see McVay falling in love with the pass. But unfortunately, I don't see passing attempts on here yet. Must not be um, the player prop must not be loaded on sports books yet. So the next couple I wanted to look at were receiving yards. So there's three players I wanted to look at. Um, Mike Evans looks like there is some value on... So the Ajayan Perfect line has him at over 70.5. Looks like there's some value on the over um, at minus 115 on Caesars and points bet. Um, you know, losing Godwin, losing... I was actually hoping the value would be on the under. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and no touch that. I just feel like, you know, this is a game to fade Mike Evans where he gets the Jalen Ramsey treatment. Um, obviously, he's always struggled against uh, Marshawn Lattimore, where he gets shadowed by him. I could see the Rams doing the same. I know we had a good game against them last time, but that was with more receiving options. So the next player I wanted to look at was uh, was Tyler Johnson. So his receiving total looks like the Ajdam perfect line has it at 30.5 at minus 118. There is some value on that over on points bet, DraftKings, and bet MGM. So I'm just going to go ahead and draft put that on DraftKings. Uh, that's going to be a mini slam. That'll be a $50 play for me. 
Um, looks like I'm already logged in. Just kidding. Um, and yeah, I just think that's a good play. So Colin Johnson, he's becoming the number two receiver. Um, number three, if you count Gronk, Gronk with the receivers out. Uh, there, there was some frustration with Brady. You could tell a couple times Brady was yelling at him, but I think that they, um, they'll get that figured out in practice. Um, and I think he's in, he's, he's in line for a big game because I think Mike Evans is going to have a quiet one. So Colin Johnson over 30 and a half receiving yards is going to be my, uh, third play of the game. And then the last player I wanted to look at, uh, locked. Yep. We're good there. Um, last player I wanted to look at was Van Jefferson. So he's had some success since Robert Woods has come out, even with Odell Beckham being added. Uh, looks like they have his over-under set at 36.5 at minus 112. Doesn't look to be any value there, so that's going to end up being a no-touch. Um, so before looking at the Plus EV page, I have three plays. Uh, the over 47.5 was a in-between a mini slam and a mix slam. Uh, I put 75 on that. My mix slam was Stafford over 0.5 interceptions. Got that on FanDuel. And then um, Tyler Johnson over 30 and a half receiving yards. I put uh, 50 on that on DraftKings. So now let's check out the uh, Plus EV page. I haven't checked this out at all. Um, let me just filter this for Rams. Looks like there's one play. Oh, of course, it's the over 47 and a half. I actually forgot to add that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Um, so, and yeah, unfortunately... There's no more um, positive EV plays for this game. So definitely make sure to follow me on Twitter. Um, if, as stuff posts, I'll definitely make sure, as stuff pops up on here, I should say, I'll definitely make sure to post it on my Twitter, as you can see at my handle below. Um, so there's going to be the three total bets for this game that I highlighted earlier. Um, this over 47 and a half here, which ended up being a positive EV play. Um, Colin Johnson, over 30 and a half receiving yards, and Matt Stafford, over 0.5 interceptions. Um and like I said, to get a prediction out there, I do think the Rams win this game. Um, I just think that the Bucks losing Godwin and AB hurts. Uh, I do. I still think you know they're going to put up enough points because Brady's Brady to get hit the over. But I do think the Rams win this game. So, um, and that's all I got for you. So I mentioned this at the top of the show. Just make sure to sign up for all the links that you see below um, in the description. Uh, like I said, it's it's incredibly important. Uh, the more sport books, sports books you're signed up for. The, the more the higher chance you have of finding a plus EV play. And like I said, if I didn't have DraftKings, there'd be no positive EV play for this game uh, on the money line. Stuff like that is incredibly important. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for you. So happy betting, happy watching, and uh, just check out this channel for more game previews. Have a good one.